All right, guys, we're doing Note to an Unknown Soldier today by Five for Fighting. Haven't done one by them in a long time. Play some of this for you. And so forth. This is the free part one I put on YouTube. The rest of the lessons for this song are on my website, webpianoteacher.com, for members. Uh, if you want to contact me, see what I'm up to, Facebook is the best way to do that. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. I'm also on Twitter. Name is webpianoteacher. If you'd like to get tweets about when I add a new song or when I, when I post a status or whatever, um, see what's going on with me. But let's do this... Uh, intro here. This is a hired request. I'll take more after I finish this current batch I'm on. It'll be about probably four months, a little less than four months before I'm finished with my current batch and then I'll make an announcement that I'm taking more. But uh, this is a really interesting piano part. It's fun to play. Let's look at the right hand first. We have a, a chord. I want you to go ahead and put your hand in this chord position because it's a chord pattern, which means instead of seeing all these string of notes, see a chord for this measure, a chord for this one, a chord for this one, and then you just play the notes in the chord, okay? So let's look at the first chord. In this first one we have G on our thumb, below middle C here. We have B flat, there on uh, whatever finger you like, I like the, my two finger. And then you can put your E flat with your fourth finger if you like, or you can use five, whatever works for you. But the point is G, B flat, and E flat. All right? Let's go ahead and look at all the chords first, and then we'll look at the pattern, okay? So that's the first pattern. Now we're going to look at this one. Thumb on F, pointer finger on B flat, put your fourth finger on D, and your pinky finger on F. Some of you might like your middle finger on that D instead. It's actually more correct to put your your ring finger on it, but you know, whatever works for you. Alright, so there's our second chord. Our third chord's a A flat major seven chord. This was an E flat chord, this was a, a B flat chord if you were interested. But here's an A flat major seven. And we have our thumb on A flat, our two finger on C. You gotta go up in between the black keys when you have your thumb on a black key because your thumb is shorter and when it's on a black key you gotta move all of them up in between there. So get comfortable moving your fingers in between the keys there. So A flat, middle C, E flat on your uh, third finger and then your pinky finger, your fifth finger on G. Okay, two chords to go. This one is a lot like this one except your thumb is on a G, that makes it a G minor 7 chord instead of a B flat chord. But we have F, D, B flat, G, so G on the thumb, B flat, third pointer, um, whatever finger you want on the D, and then pinky on the F. There. Then our last chord is a C minor, we have thumb on G, <coughs> Uh, C will be our pointer finger, and then we can have, you know, whatever finger on the E flat. Now, so get used to playing those chords first. Play the chords. Boom. Boom. Okay, so get used to that first before you start playing individual notes. Because it's very important that you feel that chord under your hand and be aware of it. It'll make it a lot easier to play later. It's like <clears throat> if I am looking at text and I'm just memorizing letters as opposed to memorizing the words that the letters make. Okay? Memorize the words. And it makes it a lot easier to memorize it um, instead of looking at each individual, let each individual letter. It means something to you if you can read the words. And it's the same thing here. Read the chords instead of just reading the individual notes there. Okay? It will really help you. Now, <clears throat> the pattern seems to be start at the top and go down and then come back up. Now, some of the chords just have three notes in them and that'll end up making you play the bottom note two times. That happens here and it happens here. Okay, see, ba ba two G's and here, ba ba two G's. But the other ones have four notes in them so you can go all the way down all the way up without having to repeat one. All right, so we start on the first one. Hold your pedal down so the chord won't last. Here, all the way down, all the way back up. 
And then here we have this chord. Okay. Ah, uh, and then we have there on that one. And then here. And we're in a one, two, three, four, five, six. We're in a uh, <coughs> complex meter. So we're in triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ba, 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 ba. You that three, one, two, three, one, two, three, da, 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 da. You have a group of three and you're accenting the first one of the three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm exaggerating it, but you get the idea. It'll help you keep track of where you are rhythmically. <clears throat> he's just playing a single note um, but you can do an octave if you want especially later on in the song where it gets more you know where it, more full you can play an octave but at the beginning I, I just hear the one note and I can really hear all the notes in the piano because that's the only thing going at the beginning and it's very clear when the whole band's playing there's a lot of other things sometimes you can't hear the left hand at all in the piano part, so I have to uh, fill in the blanks there as a, as a teacher. But E flat, a little middle C right here, D, down to A flat, down to G, and then up to C. You just play those at the beginning of the measure one time. So we have. Okay, let the speed take care of itself. Don't play it too fast. Play it slowly, correctly, and then the, the, you'll begin to get faster. But you don't want to play it in compartments like... Sound positive? Don't do it that way. Play it at a speed where you can keep going. That's a lot better to do it that way than to compartmentalize the boxes. And then do the, you know, and then wait, and then do the next one. Play at a speed where you can can keep it moving, because if you compartmentalize, you'll con you can you will continue to do that as you go faster, and it will really be hard to break that habit of playing it that way. Um, <clears throat> so there we have it. There's your your free part one. Hope you enjoy it. See you guys on the website and on Facebook. <laughs>